All right, check it. AJ from Synthesis.net, and I'm chilling here on the University of the Pacific campus with Sean and John from Stray Light Run. So you guys just played in uh, Reno, Nevada last night. Uh, yep. How was that? Did you guys hit up any of the casinos or anything? I lost $30 at Wheel of Fortune, so that was <laughs> kind of dumb. I, uh, yeah, I played blackjack for a while and lost about $125. Which I would have would been okay with, except I lost it in about an hour, which really kind of annoyed me. And it was at a $5 table, so it's really, really poor performance. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah, nothing. You live here. That's right. You'll win it back next time, right? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, cool. So how's the tour been going so far? Only like about five more days left. It's been going pretty good? Yeah, yeah it's been good. We're coming down to the end of it. We've been out for about almost five weeks now, I think. And uh, yeah, it's been a good time. We've uh, kind of gone through a string of really uh, serious drives in the past week so we're a little a little crazy but a little road worn right <laughs> yeah the drives get shorter from now on from here on out till we uh, have to drive yeah. home but maybe a little hotter though going yeah, down yeah. south that's all right you can handle it yeah. all right cool have you ever toured with any of these bands before the used or army of me or, in, or anybody we played shows uh but i don't think we've ever toured uh I know we played show, a show or two with the Army of Me and with the Used, but not yeah. not a t tour so far. It's our first time. Cool. Does everybody get along pretty well? Like no, no, no. Fights all. every day. It's crazy. <laughs> Everyone's throwing beer bottles matches. at each other on stage. It's gnarly. No, everyone gets along well. Everyone's cool. So everyone awesome. on the crew is cool, and it's a good good tour. Good time. Good deal. All right, so the, the new album came out last year, The Needles in Space, right? Oh, you guys heard about that? I have. <laughs> I, d I picked it up. That's odd. <laughs> um, well, cool. I saw you guys put out, you know, you included a couple videos, like you've made a few videos. Any more videos in the work? or? Oh, no, done? that record's... Unfortunately, no, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the label that we were on uh, saw fit to let us go. <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, so we, yeah. So unfortunately, no more videos. We, we actually had a plan in work in the works to uh, to try to do a video ourselves for every song, but oh, wow. yeah, the 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 label dropping kind of put an end to that uh, yeah. plan. I think we did. We got three done though. I think. Yeah. So that was something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. Uh, so new album oh, in the four, works. Actually. Have you guys been uh, writing or anything? We have been. Yeah. We um. We haven't gotten too far into it, but uh, we've been working on some demos and uh, trying to come up with a plan to maybe start recording in the summer, hopefully. But uh, yeah, it's all pretty early stages right now. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So uh, you've probably got this question a lot, but uh, the name Stray Light Run comes from a reference to uh, a Gibson novel yep. called Neuromancer. I think it's like part four or something like that. <laughs> we, we yeah, don't you'd have to know. ask Will. We don't know about it, <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I was just kind of wondering if that was like a conscious choice, like, because that's a very dystopian, like, novel, like, anti-utopia kind of thing. Was that, like, sort of a, a direction you wanted to take the band in, or was it just kind of like you liked the author a lot, and so you wanted to kind of, Oh, like... we think it'd be a lot cooler if we said yes, but <laughs> <laughs> um, none of us read the book except for Will, I think, Yeah, right? our drummer Will, and yeah. he was way into the book, and I think, I think he liked the, uh, the reference, and we trusted that it was a good reference. Yeah. We're I like, all right, yeah. I actually started like reading like a little sort of summary about that book. It sounds pretty crazy. I haven't read it yet, but I it... probably should read it at some time. I don't know why I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We've only had the name for like five years now. Yeah. So, what well, do you guys get to it. do? You guys have any uh, favorite authors or favorite books or anything? Yeah, we uh, do. <laughs> like Hunter S. Thompson. Been, ah, good. Yeah, seeing good some work. David Sedaris stuff. Um, been reading Shane, a Shane McGowan book. It's really, really interesting. It's like a conversation between him and his wife, basically his biography. It's funny as hell. He tells some amazing stories about his life. That's what, I, what I've been reading on this tour. Nice, yeah. Uh, I, like, uh, I like Kurt Vonnegut a lot. He's pretty good. I'm definitely a fan. Yeah, he does. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. Gotta love it, man. In memoriam, you know? Yeah. R.I.P. Which book? Which book is that one? From? Uh, it's it's uh, from Breakfast of Champions. Breakfast, yeah, that's right. I wanted to get something oh, to remember him, you know, and uh, that book's got a lot of different pictures in it. So yeah, that's the one he uh, yeah. he draws the uh, asshole. In that yeah, he, that's <laughs> that's where that all starts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, d I'm definitely a huge Vonnegut fan Sweet. as well. Do you ever uh, like use you know the literature that you read as like a reference for songwriting? Does that affect like you know the material that you create? Um, I think. Uh, it does. I think it, I, it, I used to actually like take direct uh, lines from <laughs> from, from books <laughs> and, uh, and put them into songs. I, after a little while, I decided I, I probably sh should 
try to be more original than yeah. that, uh, so I stop. But I think uh, for me, like the language and the style of writing uh, of of whatever I'm reading at a particular time can have an effect on the, you know, on my lyric lyric writing. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's hard to say exactly yeah. uh, how much effect it has. But I always feel like whenever I'm reading a book, I, I start to find myself kind of thinking in my head on in the same like style of writing as whatever like I'm cadence. reading. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I would imagine that affects my writing. Cool. Well, that's that's about all the questions I have. I got one last thing for you here. I'm a big fan of riddles, so okay. I got a little thing we do called Riddle Me This. And uh, just two riddles for you, if you guys are down to play along. Sure, why not? Give it a shot. <laughs> All right, so riddle number one here. A woman has seven children. Half of them are boys. How can this be possible? Seven children. Half of them are boys. Hmm. I want to say like a Siamese twin. <laughs> Would you count that as one kid? I, I think, think that's I think that's reaching. Collectively one yeah, that uh, might work out. Or, uh, <laughs> what? That's I, my best guess. Well they're actually all boys. So half of them are boys uh, and the other half are as well. We were totally going in the yeah. wrong direction. <laughs> reaching. But you know I like that though. They're hermaphrodite, you know? Like it might work. that's kind of a loophole there. I think that could work out. Alright, and then I got this last one. This is my favorite. It's it's kinda tricky, so but here it goes. Alright, what is the beginning of eternity? the end of time and space, the beginning of every end, and the end of every place. Now? <laughs> I'm so good, good at guess as any, I don't know. Uh, geez, I don't know, that was very, this, one, was, this one's tricky. unbelievable. Could do it one more time, I'm probably not gonna get it, but. All right, what is the beginning of eternity, the end of time and space, the beginning of every end, and the end of every place? When you get this, know, you're man. just gonna you're just gonna like freak out. It's it's so simple, but it's like so tricky. Hmm. The end of Any end guesses? Stumped. I really don't. Yeah. I can't even. Uh, I I'm terrible at these things. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Yeah, I I couldn't even figure this one out. It's pretty. It's pretty dang tough. What is it? The answer is the letter E. Ah. <laughs> They throw you off with all those time references and, and, and all that business. Did you get it over there? Oh. You should have told. You should have whispered in my ear. I is, is, she the, is she the riddle master back there? Apparently. Apparently she is. I got a couple more if you're game. All right. I guess we'll call it quits with that. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Make sure you pick up the new album, Needles in Space. And... Uh, Thanks a lot. This is AJ from Synthesis.net signing out.